about the diversification of the tourism product. We have many, many kinds of tourism in Egypt. We are talking about recreational tourism. We are talking also about the activities or the adventurous tourism. We are talking about water sports activities, diving, many, many things to explore. But what about talking about desert tourism? Many people are interested to explore the desert. And let me tell you something, that the desert in Egypt, you can never compare it to any other place on earth. Well, just think of the idea of traveling through miles and miles through the golden dunes and talking about the Western desert in Egypt. Beautiful place, beautiful site to move into a safari trip and also a place to discover more about Egypt and more about the natural sites in Egypt. Our backpack today is different as we are going to a place that is really unique on its own. Comprising of nearly one third of Egypt, the new valley governed the rate. It is Egypt's largest governed rates and one of the biggest regions on the African continent. The new valley governorate, which is one of the 27 governorates of Egypt, located on the southwestern part of the country. some of the Libyan desert area of the Sahara Desert, between northern Sudan, the Nile, and southeastern Libya. The western desert of Egypt covers most of the land west of the Nile Valley. In other words, two-thirds of the country. The new valley is the biggest governorate in Egypt, 
covering an area of 458,000 square kilometers, about one-fifth of the total surface area of Egypt. It extends in the north as far as Marsamotruh, in the south as far as Sudan, and in the west as far as Libya. A series of medium-high rocky hills are the most prominent geographical features of the new valley. In some regions, they resemble small mountains with sand plains, hard rocky outcrops and dunes between them. All these natural factors have contributed to the making of the new valley into an attractive tourist destination. The new valley consists of three oases, Kharga, Parafra and Dakhla. is about 600 kilometers southwest of Cairo and Dakhla about 750 kilometers as for Farafra it is about 1070 The White Desert is located at the northern region of the Farafra Oasis. It is steadily growing as a main touristic attraction that draws several visitors to Egypt who wish to experience another enriching site. The White Desert has been classified by Egypt as a natural protectorate in 2002 and covers an area of about 3,010 square kilometers. The geology of the White Desert is stunning. In the southern part, several layers of limestone cover the area and are known to contain fossils of invertebrates and prehistoric shark teeth. Probably the most stunning view created by limestone are these columnar geological features that resemble enormous mushrooms or like local Egyptians like to call them desert eyes. These features have been millions of years in the making. It all goes to the idea of blowing winds and sandstorms. period 16 million years ago a shallow sea covered the deep layer of Nubian sandstone of this area during the following 30 million years 300 meters of limestone or shock accumulated at the sea bottom and less than 30 million years ago the ice formation in the Atlantic made the sea above the white desert to retreat
desert, stunning sculptures result from erosion. Today, we still find many marine deposits on limestone layers. Among the sand and the limestone, the floor is covered by some black minerals with various shapes, round, elongated, star-shaped, and more. These are iron sulfides and oxide that have been developed in a chalky mud. They are called marcasite, pyrite, and hematite. The hematite chunks were used as red pigment in the past. We can also find some silex stones. One can say that the White Desert area represents an open museum of geology and natural history. Tourists not only enjoy the beauty of their geology, but experience a rare dose of clean, fresh air. The area is also host in the age of tools, tools, carvings, and caves left over by the Roman civilization. No wonder why they have been flocking to this area every year. If your travel plans will take you to Egypt in the near future, just make sure you check Egypt's white desert. You will not regret it. The White Desert is one of the Egyptian treasures, one of Egypt's virgin places. The White Desert is part of the Western Desert of Egypt, and this makes you feel like you traveled back in time to Stone Ages again. It is a marvelous area, makes you feel as if you went back in time millions of years, and no one can ever imagine how stunning it is. The White Desert is formed, as we mentioned, by the ocean and the sea creatures that did exist 80 millions of years ago, which is a huge time ago. So after millions of years and decades, you can now just visit it in the 20th century and clearly see the fossils indicating the past life of this desert everywhere. It is an astonishing piece of land just 500 kilometers from Cairo. desert is a vast area of desert that is covered in totally white sand. Makes you feel as if you have fallen in the clouds of white cotton candy or as if you are walking on the moon. It is white everywhere, made of limestone or chalk, leaving behind a scene of divine beauty.
As we mentioned before, it is all due to the erosion of the atmosphere acting on the desert. You will find here different structures that will attract you and just blow your mind and imagination every time you look around. The White Desert is the best place for safari trips with its soft sand dunes. Driving here going up and down, especially on high dune, where the cars are going down a slope of almost 90 degrees, is amazing. Travelers like to grab some soundboards and get living off those dunes with speed and fun. Or to take mountain bikes and go cycling around up and down those dunes. But of course one must take care of the speed. Camping here is amazing as well. Spending the night in a million star hotel is such an amazing experience that no one should miss. Just sleeping in a sleeping bag and the stars, those little twinkling lights, billions of them right there above, will give you more satisfaction and relaxing atmosphere. And the most interesting part and sound that you will hear, the sound of silence around, which will hit your feelings and emotions, just as if you are recharging yourself, as when it is time for sunrise, you will be impressed when you see this beautiful scene, no other place to enjoy being part of Mother Nature, the vast white area reflecting the shades of orange and red will make your heart melt. enjoy another breathtaking place, move on to the north, to the Black Desert, which is closer to Bahareya than Farafra.
like its neighbor, the White Desert. The Black Desert is in stark contrast with volcanic shaped mountains, often resembling a scene from a Star Wars movie. The mountains on floors are scattered with small volcanic black stones lying on the orange and brown colored sands. It is possible for people to climb the soft peaks with lovely views across the desert area and take some picturesque photographs. desert is a passing through point due to no facilities around as it is totally uninhabited. The landscape is of scheduled plains with the dunes being of different sizes and formations. considered as mountains, they are more like volcanic cones rising out of the desert. Mountains have eroded to coat the desert with a layer of black powder and rocks giving it its name. Towards the end of the black desert are black volcanic hills that ages ago erupted a dark volcanic material called dolerite, which is what the black rocks are made of. The landscape in this region are most spectacular. It is a region of volcano-shaped and widely spaced mounds, distributed along about 30 kilometers in western Egypt, between the White Desert in the south and the Bahareya Oasis in the north. Sometimes the Egyptians called the desert the Red Land, distinguishing it from the flood plain around the Nile River, called the Black Land. These colors reflect the fact that the desert sands have a reddish hue and the land around the Nile turned black when the annual flood waters receded.
Egyptian desert is unique on its own for all those who are interested in safari trips or an adventurous trip. While well, definitely moving into a safari towards the Egyptian desert will be the best place where you are going to enjoy things which you have never experienced in your entire life. desert is unique with all its landscape and sand dunes whether we are talking about the desert all around or we are talking about the white desert or the black desert each place is unique on its own there is a chance to visit Egypt and to explore the Egyptian desert, don't ever miss this chance. The Egyptian desert is a place where you can enjoy a great vacation. that was all for our backpack for today we will try as much as we can to tell you more about Egypt and more about the different sites to enjoy your vacation we are talking about Cairo we are talking about outside Cairo and many many kinds of tourism to enjoy that was all for now thank you for joining us and next time we'll be back with more about Egypt